It starts with Jack and Rich, three days before Memorial Day. In a few short hours, they're going to make this graveyard look very different. <coughs> Memorial Day means a lot more to these guys than just having a few days off or going on a trip. For Rich, it's a family tradition. When I was seven, my brother and myself used to help my grandmother place flags in a cemetery on the eastern end of Long Island to honor all of our departed veterans. It's become a tradition to me. At the headstone. And for Jack? 12 inches away from the Is headstone. the fact that I am still serving veterans. I am a veteran myself and I want to give my fellow veterans the respect that they need, especially the ones who have passed away. Okay, I got two more maps. In years past, only a handful of people have shown up to help. Who we got now? But this year, this is the largest group of volunteers that we've had on a Memorial Day to give to our veterans. One person had a very personal, very different reason to show up. So my dad passed away um, three years ago. So whenever I can, um, I'm stationed in Ellsworth, South Dakota right now. So I, I drive back home to come here and plant his flag for him and his wreath as well. All of this work, all of these flags, sure, it set the scene for the memorial ceremony a few days later, but it gave a little extra time for the fallen. They deserve more respect than just having a flag on their grave for one day. So that's why we do it on Fridays now. We've all heard them, those same generic answers about honoring those who made the ultimate sacrifice. Sometimes you might feel people are just saying it because, well, it's what you say but you haven't met this community. More people need to think of Memorial Day, not the opening of summer vacation, but to be in cemeteries and pay their respect to the people that gave it all or veterans that have just passed away. For them, Memorial Day is different, and it starts one flag at a time in years to follow. As long as I can walk and talk, I will be here. Senior Airman Shane Mitchell, Mountain Home, Idaho.